Hello, this is Ken James with Flyover News. We're coming to you from southeastern Oklahoma, and today we are here to say welcome to Outdoors with the Morgans. So welcome back everyone, Mike here. I am down here in the Red Pines, and uh, while the ground's frozen, I'd like to get at least one of these trees out, maybe two. I'm going to take this one down right in front of me. Uh, that one there, it's just about dead. The needles that are left on it are all brown. All these are dying off in here, so you kind of got to catch them before they get too far gone. But I also may take down something like this one right here. It's been dead a long time, and at least see what it's like. I know the bottom looks real bad, but, uh, you know, at least drop one, take a look at it. Maybe I can use some of that lumber as well. We'll see. But anyway, this tree right here, it's leaning into these other ones right here, but it's got some lean this way. So I'm going to try to maybe steer it about where I'm standing here right now and get it away from those trees there.
perfect. This one's about 16, 18 inches in diameter at the base. So it's not real big around, but it is tall. I'll get a lot of siding boards out of that. That hill right there, it didn't look as steep when I came down. I'm getting a little bit nervous. I'm going to uh, try to go up about another 100 feet in the tractor and winch it up tight. And then after that, I have just about another 100 feet, and I'll be good to go from there. Here's where that self-releasing snatch block uh, really shines. I came up this hill and I went around a turn, but I wanted to keep going until I got up where it was kind of flat. Now, if I'd start pulling on that log from where I'm at, it's gonna get hung up on one of these oak trees down there to the left. So I'll hook this snatch block up over here on the right side, pull it up so far it'll release, and then I continue right up to the tractor.
So today is our anniversary. Happy anniversary, Mike. I'm just taking a little break here. 29 years. It's exhausting. It has been. No, it's been great. It really has. So you there's a few questions that some people asked. Why don't you tell them where we met? Yeah, this, those things are fun. Um, we met at a pizza shop. I worked the pizza shop and Mike ordered the pizza. Now to hear his side of the story, go ahead. He'll say I stalked him. and She stalked me for years and she was faster than me so she eventually caught me. That's kind of how. No. <laughs> that's how I like to remember it. But the pizza shop she worked at was in town. Yeah. And I remember driving by and seeing this ginormous 80s hair. And I'm like, man, I could order a pizza from that place. Yeah. And uh, so that would have been what, 30, 31 oh, yeah. years ago maybe? Yeah. 31 years ago, something like that. Yeah. Crazy. What else did people ask? Uh, who asked who to marry them? Uh, Mike asked me because back in the day, that was what you did. The man, he asked my dad. The women asked? I guess so. I didn't know that. Neither did I because I would have never been married. <laughs> I, um, yeah, so he asked my dad to marry me and we, he proposed at a, an Italian restaurant. We had dinner and um, what I remember, because you get nervous in those situations, is I had a pair of red leather gloves and I left them there by accident. Yeah, I remember that. Well, those were uh, two of the questions <laughs> that people asked. Melissa said, I got a paper yeah. back at the house of all written down. I, and I forgot to bring it. Forgot to bring um, it. Those are the things. Uh, yeah, so four kids and one grandson and we've had several dogs. We've always had golden retrievers. We had a golden retriever named Jake, lived for 16 years. Yeah. We had him. We had one beagle. A beagle, she only lived with us for four months and her nose got her in trouble and she got hit by a car. Yeah, beagles are, uh, they follow their nose. Yeah. Hard to keep them in the fence. Yeah. I'll tell you what, for as cold as it is, it's a beautiful day with the sun shining. There's not a heavy, yeah, a wind or yeah. hard wind blowing. Last night it was kind of nasty. I ran out with the dogs at bedtime. And so this is that uh, red pine, Melissa. It came from way down over the hill. It's incredible how long it is. Yeah, it's very long. Very tall tree. Now were all these branches busted off or did you have to cut them off? They were... There's only a few left up at the top, and the needles okay. that were left on it were all brown, and okay. all those are dying down there. I need to... So I wonder how old a tree like this is. Uh, I'm guessing 60 years old. Okay. We could actually count the rings on it, but I'd say it's about 60. So these ones definitely grow taller instead of wider. Yeah, and the thing down there is they're all, they're all planted probably... It might even be 70 years old. I think they planted them in the... 50s or 60s and they plant them too close together which kind of makes them so tall and straight you know they yeah. don't spread out because they're all fighting for some sunlight right but uh, i was i was mentioning in another video like trees like this this you know by melissa's foot right there it's probably only 12 inches in diameter right <laughs> now if this was oak or cherry or something like that you have to cut around the center of the tree because it just uh checks and cracks but with these like for siding boards you can you can plane saw right through them and uh, so you actually get a decent amount of lumber out of these, and especially a tree this tall. Mm -hmm. I'm anxious to cut into 10-foot joints here, and we'll see, you know, how tall it is. It's probably 70, 65, 70 feet long. I was just going to ask that, yeah. I would guess that, too. Yeah. I'd guess that. When Ruger doesn't have anything to do, that's, that's his hobby. Chewing a stick or a bone, it's his calming. Comfort. Yep. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>